Okay, so you know how to do a risk assessment, but you don't know how to write a risk assessment. We're gonna show you where to get a free template from and how to write your risk assessment. And we're going right now. Okay, so let's start on Google, where we start everything. So we're gonna to go to Google and Luckily, my um, history is not too embarrassing. <laughs> Didn't think of that. Um, we're going to type in simple stuff, HSE, risk assessment. So we got it there in the previously searched one. And then we're going to go to this top link here. And when you see this page here. Now, there's a couple of things you can do. The template that we're talking about is just here. Um, but you can actually go to any of this information on here and there is so much stuff that you can actually go through up here is a really really good resource basics for your business risk assessment and you go through a couple of simple steps overview read the overview as an employee you must make suitable and sufficient assessment of your risk blah 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 and then it goes to the next page what is the law on your risk assessment and you can go through that one how to do a risk assessment and then it's going to take the, you through some stuff there and also that again links to the template so an awesome awesome thing as well that i think you should all have a look at is examples so depending on your business obviously there may or may not be an example risk assessment here so we can say for example a betting office we can go to there we can see how it was all done and it breaks through loads and loads of stuff and then more importantly we can have a look at the risk assessment so there we've got some more information on again repeating on how it was done um, but we go down and we can see how they've done it how they broke it down and what it should look like in its simplest simplest form and also to give you some examples of maybe some significant findings that may come up in your betting office, for example. I just think that's a really, really handy tool that the HSE give you. So let's get into it then. So where do we get the free template? Well, the minute you type risk assessments into the HSE website and you get to their risk assessment page, this pretty much follows you around. So you can get the open document format or the Microsoft Word. I just get the Microsoft Word version. And what that does is it comes down here in your bottom corner. And when it's downloaded, depending on how quick your internet is, you just click on that and it open it up. So when you've got that, you're going to want to click on enable editing. And then once you've got that, you're basically just going to work your way through the document. So you would write in here, Joe Blogs Limited, for example, etc. But instead of watching me absolutely butcher my own writing, we'll get rid of this and do one that I have already done ready for us. So rebrand and safety risk assessment here we go so i've done one for us so when you download it if you download the risk assessment one you'll just have this if you download the policy one it will come as two documents um, and we've got a video on how to write um, your policy so make sure to check that one out as well so you can see i've kind of listed here a couple of hazards so first column we've got what are the hazards then we've got who um, might be harmed and how what are you doing already? Do you need to do anything else to control this risk? Action by who, by when, and when it's done, you're going to put some stuff in there. So this top row here is what the HSE have put in for us. Um, so I left this in as an example. Sips and trips. Staff visitors may be inter uh, interested, may be injured if they trip over objects or slips and images. Um, and then it goes through what they're already doing, housekeeping, staff work areas, keep clean, etc, etc. Um, and they go through that and give themselves dates as well. So I've wrote some stuff in here. So what are the hazard driving for work? Um, and you know what? I've not put in the how in here. So we can do that now. So we've got mobile workers um, might be trained by driving for work, uh, might be trained, might be harmed from driving from work by um, collisions, collisions, um, stress yeah that's probably about it 
So then we've got those two um, I'll put on here from driving. Let's get rid of that capital letter. So there we go. So we've got driving for work, mobile workers, trainers, coaches, and I've just kind of made up a rebrand and safety business, basically. Um, the imagine like as a normal kind of training and consulting businesses. These are the type of roles that would travel around. And then I basically just said, what are you already doing? So again, I've made all this stuff up, but I've got driver records, details checked um, or check which should say checked records of vehicle maintenance copy to rebranded safety all drivers over a thousand miles go on driving safety awareness day um and then what else can we do okay people that go over three thousand miles go to on an advanced driving course for example who's going to do that the director of operations um when are they going to do it by i want it done by the end of the year and then when it's done we're just going to come back and we're just going to write in here it was done on the 12th of the 12th for example 2019 and we'll save that and keep that in our records and we just keep working our way down loan working mobile workers you know they could have any kind of incident and accident when working alone So then we've got uh, rebranding safety, for example, we might have a buddy buddy system in place, you know, check in for all mobile workers. Um, our coaches or our consultants, for example, are trained in dynamic risk assessment due to the lack of control of the customer premises. Um, do we need to do anything else? No, I'm pretty happy with that. So we've got NA, 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 NA. DSC and hot desk in all workers. Strain of sitting and working from slash with DSC for long periods. All DSC workers trained and aware of setting up desk provided basic equipment, hot desk and staff trained and aware, hot desk and equipment provided to all staff, specialist DSC assessments and, and equipment arranged on request or increased risk. So an increased mis risk might be somebody who um, has a back problem and we might say, okay, we'll go do your DSC risk assessment. Or you might have a DSC risk assessment for the office and that's a generic one for the whole office and then those people with increased risk um, would have a little bit more. So that's a real simple way of kind of going through and you just got to go through and ask these questions. What are the hazards? And you want to do this in line with the other two videos that we've, that we've done on, YouTube, on the YouTube channel, Rebrand and Safety, around how to do risk assessments, the concept of assessing risk. This here is just the template. So you could not get any easier, guys. You go onto the HSE website, you find just here on the tab, download the risk assessment policy template <clears throat> yeah you see you've got your policy at the top so what i did here was i just highlighted and let's see if this is going to work whilst we're i just highlighted all of this um, it's not going to work now but basically i just deleted this whole page there we go deleted the whole page and just worked from that yeah that's the best way i would do it Let's just get rid of that for now. So you download it from there, easy peasy. But don't forget to just have a look around the website as well for all the all the amazing kind of uh, resources that HSE are giving you. There's a brief guide on risk on risk assessment and controlling risk in the workplace as well. That's quite a good document. And don't forget to check out the examples as well that are on here. Um, so there might be an example for your business already done. So I hope you found that useful, guys. That was rebranding safety. Um, don't forget to click like. Drop us a comment below if you're using this template. If you're not, let us know what template you are using. And don't forget to hit, click subscribe and the bell so you never miss another episode. And I shall catch you in the next episode. Safe.